Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 12th. Yeah, for around the 12th. Keep in mind the timing is fluid, right? So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for a message for around the 12th? Not every reading is for you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Four of Pentacles reversed or Four of Shields reversed. This is letting go of something. We have somebody that is ready to let go. They've been holding on for dear life. Now they're ready to let go. They're ready to give up. They're, they've been holding on to something. Uh, now they're going to give something up. Queen of Swords. And we have somebody here that is very honest, very authentic, very truthful. Um, there is some sort of truth probably that is coming out. Uh, the Queen of Swords uh, looks to be like there's a new perspective that is being given. Somebody may be given a chance. They may be, they may be wanting a chance. They're obviously dealing with somebody that is very authentic, very truthful, very honest, very hard to deal with. This is somebody who is awakened, that is enlightened, that is, um, has some sort of power. So this Queen of Swords has some sort of power in her hands. Um, it is the truth. So we have somebody here that has some sort of truth. Or they have the power. The power is in this person's hands by the looks of things. And these just fell out. Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. So the Two of Wands is a decision that is being made. Somebody is at a crossroads. And it looks like they have an exciting opportunity, but they will have to leave something behind. Um, there's been some sort of delay or indecisiveness. Somebody has been stuck in a situation. Uh, now they are in, they're ready to fight by the looks of things. They're ready to go down a new path. I feel like we have somebody here that is uh, putting themselves in a position, or, or right now they're getting in position. They're getting ready to fight. Somebody is getting ready to fight for something, or they're getting they're not willing to back down, which is interesting because this is letting go, letting go of something, making a choice to let go of something and fight for something else, fight for what they believe in. I do believe we have somebody that is... Uh, very, very strong. This is a strong individual. This is somebody that has some sort of deep desire by the looks of things. They have a deep desire to uh, prove themselves by the looks of things. Somebody is going to be proving something or they want to prove something. But they are up against somebody that is very authentic, that is very truthful, and will only accept the truth. This is a professional of some sort that is very, very awakened, very intelligent. So we do have we do have somebody that is about to, uh, or, or is willing to go down that path. So somebody is about ready to go down a path, and they are dealing with somebody that is very, very honest. Um, it looks like this person is waiting, waiting for information, waiting for the truth, waiting for communication. This person may have also given somebody a wake-up call because that, that, that uh, Ace of Swords is a wake-up call. We have somebody, this person's been indecisive. They've been indecisive. They've been unsure as to which path they wanted to go down. And now they've been put into a position where they can either choose to walk away or they can choose to fight. You know, they can choose to fight or they can choose to walk away. So we have somebody here that is isn't is making a decision right now. They are making a decision. They are up against somebody that is very, very powerful and that is very authentic and very truthful. So whoever they whoever they're up against, you know, there's there's they're up against somebody that is uh, very very sharp by the looks of things. 
um, challenge. This is accepting a challenge of some sort. Ooh, nine of wands. This is definitely accepting a challenge. We definitely have somebody here that is uh, willing to fight. They want another chance. I feel like we have somebody here that wants another chance. And they're going to be putting in effort. They're, it feels like they're, they're, they're not going to, they're not going to just run away. We got somebody here that's just not going to want, run away. This is somebody who I feel like has been miserable. They've been extremely stubborn. You know, they've been holding on to something that isn't really valuable to them. And they may be letting it go so that they can go after what they want. This is somebody that is getting into themselves, into a tough position. This is somebody who that is ready to fight. They are ready to battle. They're ready to battle with an individual that, or they're ready to prove themselves. This is somebody that has been wounded. They have come a long way. They are facing challenges. So somebody is about to step up to the plate. They're about to step up to the plate. They've made a decision to do so, whereas they've been indecisive in the past. This is taking ownership. Somebody is about to take ownership for, for their actions, you know? And they are up against somebody that is, uh, you know, very brash and assertive. But whoever they're up against is willing to listen by the looks of things. I mean, this Queen of Swords, her hand is out. She's like, you're going to give me the truth? I'm, I'm ready for the truth. You want to give me the truth? I'll listen to the truth. You know, I'd like to hear the truth. Or, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd like to have some communication here. You know, the, the Queen of Swords, is. she's obviously very powerful because that's the sword of power in her hand. The sword of truth and authenticity and um, perspective being open-minded now whoever they're whoever they're dealing with is open-minded this person is open-minded and in and is willing to listen so we have somebody here that is willing to listen world now the world is a new beginning it is the end of a chapter it is an accomplishment it is a completion a lesson has been learned somebody has taught somebody a lesson a lesson has been learned in regards to truth and somebody may be being honest with themselves somebody's gained a new perspective about an individual who is very truthful and honest and I feel like now they're 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 about to uh, stand up it's like they're about to I just want to say stand up and protect or something like that uh, now the world card is a major accomplishment it is the end of a it is the end of a cycle something coming full circle um, it is the end of a journey. A lesson has been learned. We have somebody here that has been wounded. They have been wounded. They've had to fight. They've come a really, really long way. And but this is the end because the the wheel of. Oh, the world it is mercury retrograde so just bear with me the world card is the, is the end it's the it's the very last card so that means it's the end of a it's the end of a journey it's over a lesson has been learned this is accepting and allowing its completion somebody has learned their lesson It feels like they want another chance with this Nine of Wands. Facing challenges. Somebody's about to face a challenge. They are. I feel like this Queen of Swords just taught somebody a lesson. You know, because this is a lesson. High Priestess. High Priestess is a time of reflection going within. Somebody is going to need to reflect on something. This is a chance for a new beginning. The World card is a completion with a, with a, with a new beginning. So there is an opportunity for a new beginning here. We have a very intuitive individual that is very, very spiritual that is obviously receiving something and is going to need time to reflect
We have a very independent, self-sufficient individual here with both of these cards. We have somebody here that is very, very strong, very spiritual, very intuitive, very observant, that is completing a cycle in their life. This is a completion of a cycle. This is somebody that is focusing on themselves, chooses to be alone, because this is somebody that is very independent and often chooses to be alone as well. So we have somebody here that may have chosen to be alone, to, to, to reflect, to become more spiritual, to wake up. And we have, definitely have an awakening here. This is awakening. This one is too. We have somebody here that has gone through some sort of spiritual awakening. Now we have completed a cycle. You know, something is coming full, full circle for this individual who has taken time, a time out by the looks of things. We have somebody here who has been keeping to themselves. They've been completing something in their life, completing a journey, completing something. Somebody has been completing something. And it feels like they've turned their back on a fight, on a battle. They've turned their back on somebody that was very stubborn and, and materialistically focused. They turned their back on an individual that was highly competitive, you know, that was causing them a lot of challenges. Now that cycle is over, so we do have a cycle that is definitely over. We have a very strong, independent person that is uh, grown spiritually. There is a new beginning here with the World Cards. We definitely have a new beginning, a new spiritual beginning. Taking a new approach. Somebody is going to be taking a new approach. Making a conscious change. Somebody is making a conscious change to let something go that has been weighing them down. They are releasing a burden. They are completing a chapter in their life. Somebody is definitely completing something that really affected them, that taught them a lesson. They are, they've learned a lesson. Somebody has learned a lesson from somebody that really, really, really challenged them. Now they're letting it go. They're letting it go. They're making the choice to let it go. Lesson learned. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to go within. I'm going to observe and I'm going to reflect. Choose to be alone. Somebody has chosen to be alone, to release the baggage, to heal you know, this is on. This is headed towards balance. Somebody is letting something go. It's been a burden. It's been baggage. They're dropping something, dropping weight, dropping a baggage that they were holding on to. Definitely. Sorry about that. The window things will come at the end of February. Anyhow, um, a new perspective is definitely being gained. We have somebody here that is turning their back on an individual that is highly competitive. And I feel like now that they've turned their back on this individual, they're letting this person go. They're letting this person go, they are. They're letting this person go because they all they wanna do is fight. Now the thing is, is that Seven of Wands, it looks like this person is ready to fight with the Seven of Wands. This person is unwilling to back down. And maybe that's why they're letting them go. You know, this is stubbornness. And it is definitely stubbornness in both of these cards. We have somebody here that is extremely stubborn and they're dealing with an individual that is, you know, just wants to complete this cycle, that just, you know, wants closure. So this could be closing a chapter, closing a cycle, you know, letting go. It is letting go. This is a spiritual awakening of some sort. Um, so we do have somebody here that knows they've received some sort of information perhaps or some sort of intuitive nudge that it's time. It's time to complete this cycle and release it. So that's what's happening. But this, this is facing life challenges. We have somebody here that is 
is being let go. And they're being let go because they've procrastinated. They've procrastinated and, and they have been unwilling to get off their high horse. Ten of Shields, and it feels like now that now that this person has chosen to let go, you know, we have somebody here that may be fighting for a relationship. You know, um, Ten of Pentacles is very, very. It is success. It's financial success. It's financial comfort. It's financial stability. It's uh, um, money. It could be money, financial security. I <laughs> think I already said that. Um, I feel like we have somebody here that has been let go by an individual that has taken a new approach and now they want the stability. The person that was let go wants the stability. They want the comfort. They want what they had. This is this is uh, forgiveness. Somebody may want forgiveness. They may be hoping to heal a connection. This is moving on from the past hurts. This is on the path to recovery. So we have somebody here that has obviously hurt another person. The other person has turned to their back, has completed the cycle, has learned their lesson, has let them go, has gone within, has grown spiritually, has gone through an awakening. And now it looks like this person, you know, that has been let go is ready to put in effort. I feel like this person um, is ready to face a challenge because they want the stability. They want the long-term success and they see an opportunity for long-term success. They want the comfortable home. You know, they want the comfort that they had now that they've been let go. So we have somebody here that wants to heal a broken heart. Anyhow, we do have a major ending here with the with the world card. We have somebody here that has been overwhelmed, and, they, and, and now I'm changing the story. Okay, we may we this is could this is some for somebody different. Could be the same. I don't know. We do have an ending here. It's the end of a journey. Somebody has completed a cycle. They have completed their journey, and they're letting go. They are letting go. Because they know, this is an inner knowing, the high priestess, this is somebody that knows. They know that it's time to let go. It's time for this to end. Somebody may be receiving a message about an ending that somebody has let go or somebody has, you know, whatever, released. There definitely is some truth that is about to come out or some sort of information or a message that is going to come out that may, um, it may have to do with a family member for some of you. We have, we have ending, 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 completion, completion, completion. There is definitely something that is completing and it has to do with a battle because that, that is a competition, it's a fight. So we have a fight that is ending, a fight is ending and somebody is headed towards abundance. That is extreme abundance. Somebody's gonna be fighting for abundance or they're gonna be going after abundance and they don't have any fear. This is somebody that is, is letting go of fear. They are, this is somebody that is fearless, that is ready. They are absolutely ready. They're ready for comfort. They're ready for abundance. And it, it could be this person. It's like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. And, and ready to, and, you know, I do believe that there is a protector that is coming in. 
I do see a protector here. Somebody that is, that somebody is going to come in that will protect. So anyway, somebody is letting go of something that they were holding on to. They were holding on to it. Maybe it was stable at one time or... Uh, It may, may have been out of ego. They may have been holding out onto it out of pride, out of ego. But now I feel like they're giving up. It's like they're giving up and they're, they're letting go. Somebody is definitely letting go. And I, and I do feel like there is a protector here that is, that is coming in, which is, is very interesting. We have somebody here that is a warrior that is ready to protect And fight for long-term stability, for long-term security, for comfort and happiness. So we definitely have somebody here that is stepping up to the plate. Somebody is stepping up to the plate. Because a decision is being made. So anyway, I feel like on this day, there's, and there, there could be, you know, there's been some indecisiveness and somebody's been torn in two different directions, but I feel like the decision is made now. It's like the decision is made. I'm letting this go. I know that I have to. I know I can't hold on to this anymore. It's over. It's over with that, with that world card. This is, it's over. Leaving the past behind, stepping into the future making a conscious change to release this is a, this is a, a major awakening somebody it's almost like they've woken up they've gained that it is they've gained the new perspective you know and because they've decided to let go there's some sort of comfort and abundance that is coming Good luck. 